this topic is domain and range from ordered pairs. So again, the directions are like this. Suppose that a relation S is defined as follows, and then they define the function. And then they ask you to give the domain and range of that uh, particular function or relation, I'm sorry, relation. Um, and then write your answers using set notation. Now it's the same directions, it's just the relation is gonna change. Of course, it's name is gonna change. It's no longer gonna be called S, it's gonna be called eventually H and then T but if we're doing the same uh, directions, okay? So for example one, when we're doing the domain, um, set notation means I need to use this and then I just need to list all the numbers and then close the braces, okay? So domain is always the first coordinates. So it's gonna be seven, five, two. Sometimes mathematicians like it to be in order. So then, this would be the final uh, answer there, the whole thing. And then if you're doing range, that's always the second component. So it's like our Y values. So it would be C, two, and then C appears again. You do not need to write C twice. It's the same thing as just writing C and two, okay? So if you do have some values that double or triple or anything like that, you only need to list them once because that value is included in the range, okay? You don't need to keep writing multiples of those values. So for the relation H, I'm gonna say that my domain is gonna be eight, zero, one, and again, eight. Now I'm gonna do two things. One is I'm not gonna write eight twice. It's already there in the set, and I'm gonna put them in order. And so this is the final domain. Now for the range, those are the Y coordinates. So I have D, oh, I made a mistake. No, I didn't, eight, zero, one, eight. Second coordinates, D, one, C, and B. Now there's only one numerical value. So I'm gonna write that one first. It doesn't matter whether you put the numbers first or the numbers last, it doesn't make a difference. The letters, however, I am gonna put them in order. So B, C, D. And this would be the final formal um, set for that range. Now, for example, three, my domain would be negative three, negative eight, five, negative four. And if they want those in order from smallest to largest, it would be negative eight, negative four, negative three, and then five. And then for the range, that's going to be zero, the second coordinates, negative eight, negative three, and nine. And again, at least to greatest would be negative eight, negative three, zero, and nine, okay? When you're labeling, when you're putting them in order least to greatest, you do have to think of who's the leftmost on the number line, right? So here's my number line. Here's zero. Positive nine would be somewhere over there, negative three somewhere over here, and negative eight somewhere over there. You have to go in the order from left to right on the number line, okay? That's why I have them in this particular order. Okay, that is the end of this particular topic.